In the course of the last decade, China has become one of the world's leading countries in technology and engineering, competing with the likes of the United States, Russia, and Japan for dominance in the global technological market. With the rise of artificial intelligence, China has set her sights on expanding her technological horizons further into the world of humanoid robotics on a quest to make robots that seem more human-like than ever. Inside this new Chinese factory, robotic engineers are working tirelessly to build machines that don't seem like machines at all. Humanoid robots are the most complex type of robots to build. Before now, the purpose of building them was just to display them in museums. But after seeing how useful these robots who have been trained to recognize and mimic human facial expressions and other characteristics have been in the New Age restaurants in Japan, the Chinese government are looking into how humanoids can be used in the healthcare and education sectors. X Science and Technology Museum In her bid to lead the robotics and artificial intelligence race, the Chinese government partnered with a multi-million dollar company, X Robotics, to build the X Future Science and Technology Museum in Liaoning Province in 2021. This would become known as the first robot museum in China. However, instead of housing artifacts and artworks like regular museums, this museum is home to a factory of researchers and developers and a production and assembly line facility for the most realistic, human-like bionic robots yet known to man. The building of the museum wasn't the first time the company has been involved in the building of humanoid robotics. X Robotics was established in 2009 to build technological devices for government agencies, medical institutions, and service retail industries. And in the course of their research projects, they began dabbling in the creation of humanoid designs which would later be used in educational and corporate industries, such as science museums and public service centers, to showcase the unlimited potential of humanoid robotics for the future. The factory has over 100 and 115 staff, including 30 developers dedicated to working on the production, sales, research, development, and maintenance of intellectual bionic humanoid robots. Most of the humanoids created in the factory since its founding have been mainly for exhibition purposes, and they include celebrity look-alike robots, cartoon robots for the promotion of cinema and films, and pole dancing robots advising bars and nightclubs. Since the company began dabbling into the building of humanoids in 2016, there has been tremendous growth in how realistic the robots have become. The engineers at X Robotics make use of a high-precision 3D scanner for great accuracy and detail, adding minute elements of human behavior patterns and physical differences in different genders of humanoids. Typically, female humanoids known as gynoids are now easily differentiated from male humanoids, adding to the realistic nature of the robots. Not only that, but other physical attributes like vein patterns, palm lines, and goosebumps on the skin reach an insane level of accuracy. Human-like features of humanoids. For years, people have been skeptical of what the effects of having robots live amongst human society will be. The engineers in this Chinese factory have their main goal of creating robots that can recognize and mimic human behavior especially facial expressions, to make them seem more real. Humanoids are the most expensive robots to build, and the new $30 billion factory in the northeastern Chinese city of Dalian, in the Liaoning province, spends between 1.5 million to 2 million yuan, or around $280,000 on each humanoid. According to the experts at X Robotics Factory, there are many basic models and algorithms that are commonly open source, which every other company or factory uses for robotics. However, they concentrate more on how to enable the artificial intelligence feature in recognizing and recreating human-like expressions and emotions. And for this reason, a huge chunk of the body parts of these robots are made with expensive silicone parts. Silicones make up the whole neck length, the arms and feet and the whole face of the robots in order to give a more tissue-like feel to the robot's faces. The goal here is to make touching a humanoid robot feel like touching a human being. To fully understand how realistic these robots have become, you have to take a look into the museum. Recently, a video of the inside of the humanoid robotics factory began circulating social media, and it showed realistic humanoid robots in different stages of development. The short TikTok clip was filmed on the factory floor at X Robots. The video and other videos like it have exposed how far the technology has gone with 3D printed silicone skin and human-like hair and clothing to demonstrate the possibilities of lifelike robotic designs, almost indistinguishable from real-life human skin and hair. These robots can be controlled. Users can use remotes to change the facial expressions and gestures of these robots to mimic their own. These robots also have video tracking programming, which makes it possible to know when someone is in front of it and it can look straight at the person's face. These videos also showed the three to six months long process it takes to create one humanoid robot through a series of complicated operations. 
The first of these operations involves developing a human voice for the program, and the next is the use of 3D printing and scanning to emulate human skin tones and shapes for the manufacture of mechanical equipment and applying bionic coatings to the machine. The final of the operations involves using a control system to manipulate the robot's movements. The engineers at X-Robotics stated that the most tasking part of creating humanoid robots is the building of mechanical structure. This difficulty stems from the lack of heavy machinery in the company in comparison to the industrial robotic companies who build robots for industrial use. Also, when building gynoids, the process of placing dozens of tiny equipment parts in the narrow interiors of these female humanoids are quite tasking. What the future holds for humanoids? What makes these new humanoids at X Robotics so impressive and worth the $30 billion spent on building the factory is the uncanny ability of these robots to seem very human-like in very unprecedented ways ever known for machines. These robots have the ability to express joy and sadness. They can be playful and laugh at humor. They can stick out their tongues and make sad eyes. The next phase of this robotics research is to integrate them into human society to perform many roles including in medicine, the service industry, and other sectors, alongside humans. Although a very scarce commodity right now, the X Robotics team already foresees humanoids being more common in society, not just in China, but even outside Asia, as they claim that they already have the capacity to produce 2,000 of these humanoid robots each year. With this revelation, there is no doubt that the future of humans and robots living side by side with each other in society is not so far away. To attract more investors from the business world, the company invested in creating a hardware platform to make their robots more intelligent for the complex world of banking and finance. Unlike most humanoid robots designed for industrial or domestic purposes, X Robotics is known to only produce humanoids that are most likely to be for exhibition and display purposes for now. And they are planning to upgrade their service from creating robots for service industries, like the restaurant waiter robots in restaurants and hotels, science fairs, trade shows, popular culture events, cinema and business, and diversity into more profitable and tasking sectors like healthcare, surgery, manufacturing industry, early childhood and childcare services. China's influence on the world. Given China's recent record-breaking advancements in the humanoid robotics field, many other countries in and outside of Asia have followed in their footsteps by launching their humanoid robotics research programs. One such country is neighboring South Korea, where a 3D printing and design service provider called AM Service Gluck has begun mass-producing several ultra-realistic humanoids using large-format Cubicon SLA 3D printers at their automation factory in Seoul called the Wiko 3D Factory. This automation factory is just like the Chinese Robotics Museum. The humanoids created in this factory were first unveiled at the Gentle Monster Nudaik store in Hanam, South Korea, and the ultimate goal is to turn it into an assembly line of humanoid robotics. Inspired by their Chinese counterparts at X Robotics, all the parts for the humanoid robots in the Gluck factory are 3D printed using large format SLA technology, with extremely photorealistic surface finishing. The Gluck team prides itself in continuously improving the capabilities of its SLA systems as they take it one step further to replicate even the skin pores on the face of each humanoid robot using extensive post-processing work. The engineers at Gluck also use a urethane coating to ensure the durability of the photopolymer 3D printed parts. Although humanoid robots are not fully ready for integration into society, the progress made by both Gluck and X Robotics in China has proven to the world that it is quite possible and it has piqued the interest of other nations in humanoid robotics. Let's watch and see what the future holds for these human-like robots. Would you like a chance to visit the Science and Technology Museum in China and interact with these human-like robots? What are your thoughts on the integration of human-like robots into human society? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.